Look, I get it. Taking creaky old applications and finding ways to modernize them does not sound like the most enthralling topic, but you clicked on this video and I'm so glad you did because generative AI is revolutionizing what is possible in the field of application modernization. And I'm going to show you six ways in this table how generative AI can bring old applications into the modern world. And the great thing is it's generative AI rather than you that does a bunch of the heavy lifting. So first let's define some terms and we'll start with application modernization. Now this is about bringing legacy applications up to speed to meet current and future needs. It's the process of updating traditional functionality to incorporate modern technologies, modern capabilities, and modern architectures. And look, legacy applications have powered businesses for decades. They are generally resilient and reliable, no bad thing. But as IT evolves, integrating newer technologies can amplify their strengths and address areas that might benefit from modern enhancements. And in a study conducted by the IBM Institute for Business Value, 83% of executives said modernizing applications and data is central to their organization's business strategy. So this is clearly a hot topic. Another term I want to define is generative AI, and I rather suspect you're quite familiar with this term already. It refers to a subset of artificial intelligence where the system is trained to generate new content. Now this could be in the form of images and text, but it can also be the generation of code and software functionalities. Generative AI can produce output that wasn't explicitly part of its training data set, which makes it a really powerful tool. So I think it's pretty clear that combining these two things is something that is gaining interest. And that same IBV study reported that 89% of C-suite execs agree that generative AI in app modernization projects will drive growth by improving existing products and services. But how? Well, let's take a look at six examples. It's not an exhaustive list by any means, but I hope you'll find one or two things of interest to you here. And let me first caveat this by saying that generative AI is not a magic bullet and it's not infallible. It's always wise to double check its outputs and make adjustments as needed. All right. I think the, uh, the lawyers should be happy, so let's get going. And first up is code generation. Now, have you ever found yourself spending hours coding basic modules or structures over and over again? It can get a tad monotonous, but by understanding the requirements or established patterns, generative AI can churn out code snippets or even entire modules. For example, let's say you're in charge of building a data processing system that involves connecting with a multitude of API endpoints for different functionalities. Generative AI can be shown the pattern or structure of these endpoints and in turn can auto-generate the required code. All right, that's code gen. Now next, have you ever looked at an ancient piece of software, scratched your head and thought, what in the world does this do? I have. In my first professional job, I was working with cable billing code written in RPG that was older than I was. Enter reverse engineering. With its ability to analyze and understand code structures and their behaviors, generative AI assists in recreating or modernizing the existing systems and applications, even if the original source code is lost. So consider a legacy CRM system, perhaps it was built like in the late 90s, it's integral to a company's operations, but is now riddled with inefficiencies. The original developers have moved on and the documentation is, well, let's just call it sparse. Well, generative AI can dive into this system, identify its various operations, and with a bit of assistance, generate a modern equivalent of the software. Another capability is in the area of best practices. Now let's face it, keeping up with the best way to do things can feel like trying to hit a moving target sometimes. So wouldn't it be great if as you code, somebody like taps you on the shoulder and provides recommendations? Well, generative AI can be that insightful colleague. By analyzing vast data sets, repositories, and patterns, generative AI can proactively suggest coding or architectural best practices. 
pretty handy. Now, while we're on the subject of making our lives easier, let's delve into the realm of auto healing systems. Now, a big challenge during application modernization is really managing and reducing something called technical debt. So as applications evolve, earlier shortcuts and patches and workarounds, all remnants of historical decisions made from back in the day, can become ticking time bombs leading to unpredictable behavior or system vulnerabilities. Generative AI auto-healing systems can actively monitor the modernized application, identifying and rectifying legacy inefficiencies or issues that arise due to the older code. All right, two more. Next one is context sensitive. Context sensitive automation. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, look, application modernization isn't just about tweaking legacy code. We're reshaping entire systems here. So we're talking about things like transitioning to cloud platforms and incorporating DevOps. And generative AI can bring context sensitive automation, where it doesn't just blindly apply automations, it discerns the context, like understanding whether it's working within a containerized environment or interfacing with a decades old database. This awareness ensures that the automation it applies, be it being code migration or infrastructure setup or user experience optimization, is apt for the situation. And then finally, we've got code debugging. Debugging, well, that's a time intensive process at the best of times, but throwing interfacing old code with new tech, things don't exactly get any easier. Fortunately, generative AI can analyze code structures system interactions, and even user behaviors to quickly identify bugs, bottlenecks, or potential areas of improvement. Now, there are a bunch more I wanted to include, but heck, this table has only got so many cells. Uh, code refactoring would have been another one. Documentation generation, I'd probably had that on my list as well. Now, do keep in mind, it's early days. These capabilities are still maturing. Still, if, if nothing else, I hope I've piqued your interest in exploring how generative AI can help as a transformative force in the app modernization space. It's not just about updating old software, but reinventing it, ensuring it's adaptable, efficient, and ready for the future.